Sometimes you're born with a talent. I believe my birth talent was football. I was fairly natural at sport. It was never forced. I just loved it, still do. I remember on one occasion, I must have been four or five, I was kicking a ball in my Nana's garden with my step-granddad. He kicked the ball to me and without hesitation, I went pounding after it. Little did I know that I was going a little too quick. My determination took me straight into the stream following the ball's landing spot, straight to the bottom, completely subsided in the water. My family are very supportive and super proud. Even my little brother admits I'm better than him. People's perceptions of the women's game have changed dramatically over the last five years. It used to be 20 boys and one tomboy, aka a girl, just like me. Now it's thousands of people going to Wembley to watch the women play in cup finals or international friendlies. It's even being live streamed on BBC. There's even a women's football show that was played weekly during the season. Now that's a pretty dramatical change. As a captain of Watford Ladies, the expectations are higher as far as your performance on the pitch goes. You have to lead by example at all times. Training three times a week with the team, playing a match per week, a day of rest, as well as two days of training individually. Six of the seven days a week are football related, along with a full-time job. After six or seven years, it's the way of life. That will never change. The enjoyment I get out of the game, the competition, the people, the youngsters who inspire to be just like you when they're older, a sport that brings the whole world together. I couldn't think of a better drive. Every time I step onto the pitch, all my troubles go away. The only thing that matters on the field is the beautiful game. The season may end for the fans, but it goes on for me.